you know the computer motherboard and the tower everything blended together it looks really good all right let's take a look at the actual case itself when you get it off the box this is pretty much what you get um on the motherboard i do have a water cooling system that i'm gonna have to replace so this fan will be usable but we're going to use it in our actual water pump so let's go ahead and um remove that one first and it's adjustable in the back which i like but we gonna make sure that first one works before we and and then just to let you guys know it's not they use the cheapest materials a lot of these things in here so some of them pretty fragile so if you use a screwdriver too strong you might break uh some of the components some of the plastic components so be careful how you approach that but overall this is a cheap motherboard i mean cheap tower so um you want to you know choose your liking you could but if you're looking for aesthetics just to see how it looks you know this could be for you, but if you're looking for performance, then I would suggest maybe looking at other towers. But we're going to take a look at this one. We're going to reuse this one, actually. So we're going to keep using it. If you guys can see the screw, I'm actually going to move it to the right and keep that in the, in the bottom. Put the motherboard on the top. So we're going to mock up the motherboard first. Before you do that, you got to make sure you put the IO shield, right? So that's, that's a must. Um, so we're going to put that in here. And... Based on the actual motherboard, you're going to have to um, find out exactly what locations you're going to have to put it in. And of course, I'm actually putting it on this side because it has to be facing down. And on top of that, they give you the extra screws so you could adjust these. All right. So we're going to mock up the motherboard first. And here's the motherboard. I have the aisle shield already set up. And I do have everything pretty much set, but we are going to need the last screws on the on, of, at the end. So we're going to go ahead and put the, the other mounts. Of course, they give you the bag with the extra stuff in here. Um, normally, they would give you a little box or something. They give you the instructions, too, and how to maintain it and all that stuff. So, And they give you exactly three of them. One, two, and three. That I'm serious. They only give you three of them. So you're pretty much, if you're missing one or something, you're, you got to buy the whole these whole units again and i do have a and they do sell them in amazon separately so if you ever lose them or something they do sell these they sell like uh multi-packs and stuff like that so they're gonna and i think that's it only those two so like i said you can hand tie them if you want or if you don't feel like they're strong enough then go ahead and remove them so we're gonna go ahead and mount the the actual set here the motherboard Everything there, base. This can be part of that. We seem like we got all of them, so let's go ahead and start with the screws. And I put the CPU and the memory and everything else before I even put this thing up. Make it easier for me, to be honest with you. I find it easier if I if I mock it up, if I put everything in there before prior to even starting up this thing, because um a lot easier in there then we're gonna find the actual place that it belongs to here we got plenty of screws so we're gonna grab one of these put the side screw all right so we got that in there go ahead and um plug this in if you guys can see it this is a, a led light all right so you're gonna have to find an led light connection input uh, most of the times they don't have it. Um, you have to find one, right? So just to let you know, let's go ahead and look for one here. USB goes into the bottom here. So we're going to run it through the back. We're going to run this cable all the way through the back and come back through here. And plug in these two USB. So we're going to run this one. We're also going to send the other one to the same location. So we're going to run these out through the back. Reaching them out, popping them in there. So this is audio, I believe it is. Yep, this is audio. So audio goes on this side and it's missing one. So maybe this one could go to the back. All right, let's go ahead and mock this up. 
And the way we do, you want to make sure you have your manual in here, right? If you want to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, stop the video and look at the manual, exactly what you need to connect, right? Let's take a look at the inside. We cable management on the back, everything goes to the back pretty much. Um, we left these off for the VGA, of course. Um, we're going to put the VGA card here, and we are going to make some more room on the slots here. We're going to remove it. So, right now, pretty much fit perfect the motherboard. Um, ASRock uh, has a Fire CUDA um, uh, PCI SSD generation, uh, fourth generation card embedded in here, M.2. Ready, ready to go. Water cooling system, airflow comes in through here, airflow comes out through the back. Optional, you could add more fans in the top. Um, power connection, reset, everything's in the top. USB 3.0, um, and then pretty much two slots for the memory. We have two more slots for extra memory on this motherboard. Um, very simple to just you know get up and go. Don't forget to remove these stickers. Uh, we're gonna crank it up in a bit right now. We're testing it out still. Make sure that we get the VGA card in here first and that's about it and we're gonna crank it up so let's get the card in there oh got the slots open get the video card in there cables are out of the way in there we go got the last screw in there then we're going to connect the video card, all right? And the video card is very simple. Just follow the instructions. Um, two slots video. So we're going to put one here. One here. We should be good. We could tuck back the rest of it. Excessive cable back in there. That's pretty much it. I mean, very simple. We're going to crank it up and see if it works. All right. First time turning it on. It's going to turn on and it's going to turn off and it's going to turn on again. All right. So let's go ahead and crack it up. Should be in theory. So plug it in. Make sure the power is on first on this side. Crank it up. Turn off the power. There we go. I can hear the water flowing. Looks like everything's working. Beautiful flow of um, water flow. You can hear the pump working. All right, so we got the three lights. And if you guys can see it, I can't manipulate the lights right now, right? They're pretty much fixed. If you guys can see this one too. But this one is automatically changing to different colors. Um, this one's pretty much red because it's a came from an old machine. It's a 1080 Ti. Um, pretty much, we got the two slots working. Everything seems like it's running okay video card everything looks like it's going to be running power issues nothing uh, we still have enough slots for two sata drives um we don't have another m.2 slot in here in this um b5500 um motherboard so if you guys can see that's what i'm running right now bird's eye view looks beautiful uh let's move it to the front right now so you guys can see the front all right, so this is the front. If you guys can see it, one video, one one fan in here, two fan here, three fan. So this is, you can feel the air sucking in here and we're gonna see how well the airflow goes. Uh, here's the other slot in here, like I was talking about. We're gonna cover it up right now. We're gonna see where the heat is actually working and sucking the air from. So we're gonna take a look at that part of it. All right, I just want to show you guys some of the heat. And of course, these things are my lights. These are my lights. If you guys can see how hot it gets. So, but we want to see how much uh, hot it's getting in. So, and how much cold it's getting in. So right now, really cool air sucking in in here. And you can see my heat hand. And there's, these are the actual motors of the fans, if you guys can see them. But not bad. I mean, they're, but, um, so far the, the case looks pretty good. All right. Montec. All right. So. Video card, everything's fitting pretty well. It looks really aesthetics look really good to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a little bit impressed with it. And, and if you guys can see, you could remove this 
to actually show more or add more actually you got two more um, fans in here and this is a magnetic piece in the back so you could clean it up once in a while with all the dust bunnies uh, you guys can see you do you have a light for a hard drive but there is no hard drive um, reset button I'm not quite sure what this button maybe it's let's try this button nothing happens how about this one nothing happens uh, you got your 3.5 uh, jack for um, mic, headset, and two USBs, A versions, not even three. This is the only one that you're going to get that's 3.0, 3 all right? And then you got your power button. Um, this is supposed to reset the whole thing, but it didn't do anything. and changed the RGB lighting. It didn't, it didn't do nothing. Pretty much to stay the same. Let's turn it off.